Sagittarius singles, welcome. As your singles read, I call it Meet the Soulmate. This is for February 2022. So I like to think of it as an always positive read because I'm simply asking Spirit to help me identify the one who's right for you. So uh, Sag, uh, full disclosure, Sag, Sun, Jupiter, Mercury, and Mars here. We're going to look at the emotional aspect of your person. Two cards. This is their intellectual aspect, their love and romance nature. What I call lifestyle core values. Yeah, this is kind of the four pillars when I think of as of a relationship, good relationship. Um, and I'll see if I can get these astrological positions as we go along. Talk about stories they might tell and how they might come across. Um, but you've got Sagittarius moon. That's a gimme. Here I see the moon. It's um, Sagittarius card. Uh, every Sag moon I've ever known is an astrologer. And pay attention. And I've had some friends come Sag. I don't know how that goes, right? I've never had a relationship, like an intimate relationship, love relationship with a Sag moon. Uh, but they're, they're always uh, stimulating the conversation. It's like this kind of Gemini energy. They seem to always kind of know a lot about a lot. Uh, because I think this is the preeminent moon of curiosity. So the moon is like, what do you need to feel like safe and secure? So this is literally the person, they're a little nervous or whatever. They need to balance themselves, they need to ground themselves. You know, they're going to read an article, you know, roast themselves in something that's interesting and fascinates them, you know. And so over time, the, these type people, I, by these type people, I mean Sagittarius moons typically will accumulate a wealth of uh, information and uh, with that can often be wisdom you know, the mind often does it uh, the mind is the moon you know but it's a whole unconscious mind so but I think they might have here a mercury in Capricorn and I think that what we're talking about here is a Scorpio Sun so Scorpio Sun they've got a mercury uh, in Capricorn Sag, yep. This, I think, the world was represent Saturn. I think this is uh, the planet Saturn. If you look at their chart, you're only going to need the day for this. You won't need a time. Plenty of places to get that info now. If you just know their date of birth. And see if they don't have the sun conjunct Saturn here in their birth chart. Um, and then we're going to look at their Venus and Mars. But already, you know, you have someone... Uh, with the Scorpio energy and Saturn attached to the sun. And they have this kind of instinct to work. I think they come from like some kind of working class background, I would call it. Um, it was kind of a natural environment that they were in and that they were simpatico with. Um, and I think that you're going to find that they're a hardworking person, it's like part of their nature. Um, they very much are, they can well be focused on the eighth house stuff, the cult, astrology, tarot, whatever, um, anything that's hidden. Um, this could be like a, I think that this person, I mean, somebody's got to do it. They may work as a, uh, in crime, in, in crime investigation, um, laboratory work or something like this, something to literally do with kind of uh, uh, criminology. That's what I want to think with them. Um, it's something like this, but it's, they do it uh, as like a scientist or uh, like as an advisor. They, they could be a psychologist that specializes uh, in that. Um, and I think that we're looking um, at the Venus here in Libra with the Eight of Swords. So... Um, you know, Venus is at home um, in Libra, so you'd think that would be very good. So it must be ill-placed. Uh, it could be semi-square the sun, now, which would make it also to Saturn. And so it's just sort of that in itself could be a little bit of a challenge um, position. Uh, you know, Saturn, Venus is always, too, about the values you have here. Um, so with Libra, it'd be wanting to compromise and, and wanting to see the other person's point of view. Um, and this is a person that they, they could work very hard. I could see them like working their way through school, work, working very hard to achieve, you know, an education. 
I could see them working and focusing very hard on their career. Um, they they are probably with this uh, Sag Moon. Uh, it's a great card for a workaholic. You, you don't think of it as being focused, but when you have your Sun conjunct Saturn, usually you know you're very self-contained, very focused on your goals. You know Saturn wants to climb. Saturn wants to build, achieve. You know grow. Um, so. Uh, then this, in terms of love, you this is a person who would be very interested uh, in their love life and maybe talk about it a lot. So they, I really get the feeling with this person. Also, we're looking at a, a person who's mostly, most of their life is about work and home, meaning their you or their family, work and home. Uh, they're not scattering their energies. You know, Scorpio, I Scorpio V, it's very personal like this. You know, they're really not into, you know, always being around crowds and people and that kind of thing. Um, and I think that they have achieved something over time because with this Ace of Swords here over the Ten of Pentacles, there's an authenticity to them. Uh, they, they, this person, Sag, they're never ever going to do, that's what this Ace of Swords come with the Eight of Swords saying too, they're never going to betray their values, uh, even in their word, not in their deed. You see the, the dove here. It's a very peaceful ace of swords. Um, so it's like they have a lot of honor about them, integrity about them, with this Ten of Pentacles, integrity. And I believe over time, oh, and I think we're dealing with the Sagittarius Mars here too. So it's like they also know... The combination of the Libra, Venus, and the Sag Mars, and the Sag Sun, you might have the Sun and you might have Mars in some kind of conjunction, um, say less than 10 degrees, 6 degrees or less, um, and you would have a, quite a dynamic here. I see this as someone who knows when to take a chance. Uh, there's someone that can uh, spring into action. Um, you know, uh, they could also uh, make money uh, in the stock market. Um, they also would understand people, so they'd be the very good person to be in any kind of psychology or counseling or social work. And um, this would be being rewarded over time. You see this Eight of Pentacles? I see this like their life has been a movement upward, you know. Uh, they... they, they is someone that cares mostly about their work and their family, and they've earned, hard-earned, a very solid uh, second house Taurus energy for themselves um, in their life, you know, whatever age that they might be, Sag. So let me know what you think, guys. Uh, hit a like, would you? And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. You can use the help. Thank you.